Today I will guide you how to set up this uh, Rubik biometric safe. This is a very good safe. Uh, have a very uh, good quality fingerprint module which is sensitive enough to scan your biometric impression and it has a hidden keyhole in case of emergency in case your fingerprint is not working due to any reason which might be due to batteries are drained out or uh, you have some injury with your fingerprint or due to any reason if it is not working you have a backup way of opening the safe with the key or with the spare battery pack connected here i will show you this pouch is hanging in front have some useful accessories i will guide you one by one this is a spare battery pack you might need when safe is not working because of the batteries you will connect it here and it will power up inside this you have to add the batteries in case of emergency here make sure this spare battery pack is always outside at some other safe place not inside the safe these are four starter batteries only to start the safe and uh, check it out but for the use you must add good, any good brand alkaline batteries make sure those are alkaline batteries you will add in the safe it will last longer like one year or two year depends on the batteries and the brand you might use these screws are for the wooden cabinets only so if you want to mount it in the wooden cabinet these screws are provided but if you want to hang it on the wall or somewhere like floor or something like this you must buy some steel bolts two unique keys these keys are unique replacement is not available so you have to make sure the these keys are always kept at some safe place and you have access to them in case of emergency so let's start safe is usually locked like this when you will receive the safe you have to open it up insert the key push it little bit and turn to the left it will turn a little bit only it's it's normal so insert push turn left at the same time turn the ring to the right open and remove this do not try to remove this before after you remove it you will see inside have a removable shelf a carpet on the floor this is the battery compartment and back here there is a button to register the fingerprint so first of all you will add the batteries here make sure you add the batteries in the right direction I have already added the batteries so I can show you the functionality quickly now I will turn off remove the keys lock the safe now as I have added the batteries already let me tell you this module for the first time use any finger it will accept as a first time uh, opening method so when you will add the batteries you can open it up with any fingerprint so I try my thumb it's open now after the first time use I have to wait when LED is off now I can register the finger so behind the door I will press this green button just once only you will see now light is on means I can register the finger I try my index finger it's registered I will lock now I wait a while like few seconds and then I try my thumb again now it shouldn't work reason I have registered a finger it's not working this index finger is registered let me try again yes it is accepted if I want to register another finger again I will press the button once 
icon and here finger is registered now see thumb no last finger yes index finger yes so you can register up to 99 uh, fingerprints or fingers like the fingers of your family members you can register and they can open the safe now at any point of time you feel not comfortable and you won't reset all the fingerprints you won't delete just keep it pressed for 10 seconds and you will hear a beep so i will keep it pressed now all the fingerprints are deleted as you heard the beep means it's deleted now i lock the safe now you can see i can open even with my thumb reason no fingerprints are registered at this time so again i will register the finger i want to use with and that's all thank you